and a skirmish after the kick by McLaughlin, who earlier had one tipped. And no good. Now you got another flag here coming in. You got Gedeke involved in that. Well, it started with Tim Settle and Nick Leverett. If you can stay with it right there, and then he Settle didn't care for that, of course. And then here comes everybody. Meanwhile, McLaughlin. It's, it's so it's it's so interesting. Oh, oh my, yeah, Helmet there you go. Swing there. Gather and discuss. Meanwhile, okay. lost in all of this stuff. The field Kyle. goal is good. There is no foul on the play. Timeout. Here's here's the penalty after the touchdown after the two pointer. That's sixty right there in the yep. middle. Can they punch it in here? They'll try to tie this game. Pump fake. Jones thrown near center oh. the field. That pass intercepted. Jalen Ramsey. Ramsey's got a lead blocker. Ramsey out of bounds. He's got his first pick in his Dolphins debut. Playing these receivers tough. And, you know, Mac Jones, what a drive. Just about to say how he was playing fast and decisive and had command. Gassed against this offense in this weather. It's sticky with temperatures in the mid 80s and all that humidity down in the field. Well, watch the delay again. Dolphins, one timeout left. Tonga by Lois slinging it near side. This is Ahmed. Spins his way into a pickup of about four, maybe five. Tackled by Bryant. I would say that you find yourself here on a fourth down. Listen, you have the skill and precision of Tua and his. His wide receivers, they're going to make some throws and catches. I mean, that's just a given, but uh, it was a tough one. See Hill in the upper slot. Two of the fake. That pass point nearly snatched by Tavai. Five of those years playing under Mike McDaniel. Mostert again looking for some daylight. Picks up just about a yard here. For the respect level between McDaniel and Mostert, two guys who go back a long yeah. time. It was McDaniel who vouched for Mostert. It's made uh, the ardent Miami supporters hopeful that Chill is going to hold on to that record. Mac Jones fires up the center of the field, and it is broken up. Nearly picked again. Juju Smith-Schuster was there playing defense, and Brandon Jones is hurt. Could this be a penalty on Smith-Schuster? And now temper starting to flare. Smith Schuster just trying to play defense. Dolphins players didn't appreciate that contact. The officials quickly trying to restore order. Well, you don't want this to get out of hand here. Coach is trying to separate players. There's Christian Wilkins left of your screen. Completely sprawled out. You know, looked like a March, dare I say, legal hit. Didn't lead with the helmet, kind of led with the shoulder. I don't think that the Dolphins players probably appreciated Smith Schuster standing over him at the end of the play. Yep. After the play was over, unfortunate conduct. New England number seven. That penalty will be enforced half the distance to the goal, resulting in a change of possession. Hey, First go, down. Go. Good sportsmanship, Arch, after that play. Yep. You saw Smith Schuster walking over, apologizing to Brandon Jones, making sure he's okay. Things settled down, thankfully. You see that quick little, the, the quick little stand over him. Matt, what is the biggest challenge to playing in this rain? As we have a little extracurricular and a late flag come in. Dead ball, personal foul, defense number 56. Expect to see that often. 47 yard attempt for Graham Cano, and it's no good. Cano misses for the second consecutive week. And it's still seven to three. Wilson in trouble and down he goes. A sack for the Giants defense and a late flag comes out. Kai Becton's going to get called for an unsportsmanlike conduct here on Kayvon Thibodeau. At the end of the play, good ball, personal foul. Offense number 77. DeVito is going to try to run it himself. And once again, the Jets at the line of scrimmage, but a late flag comes in. This is the immaturity, youth, I should say, of Jermaine Johnson. 
Once the play is foul, defense number 11. Unnecessary roughness. Half the distance penalty. Automatic. Once a play in the motion, forward motion is stopped, particularly with a quarterback. They do all they can to protect quarterbacks. The last thing you can do is come in and lay a hit on him. He's also high, so helmet to helmet guaranteed that penalty. And then just see the frustration on, on Robert Sala. But here's the field position advantage that the Jets are wow, giving away by jumping off sides. And it's fourth and five. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Number 72. Five-yard penalty result to the first down. Michael Clemens commits an absolutely brutal penalty for the Jets. You can see Coach Sala on the sideline. That's the ninth penalty for the New York Jets saying, you've got to be blank and kidding me. And he's right. He's right there next to the ball. He knows he messed up. 27-yard try for Blake Groupie. And the kick by Groupie is good. It's Blue <laughs> frustrated. Oh, Blue's had it. Oh, man. And they got to finish the game. Third and 13. They'll bring pressure. Carr airing it out. Shahid down the sideline. He's got it. Dropped it into the bucket. And Carr and Shahid hook up again for a giant play. 51 yards and a first down to the Colts. 19. And Carr knew it. As soon as he cut that thing loose, look at him flexing on the sidelines. He's feeling it. That's how you finish a game. And, and they're putting ooh, him to sleep. A little night-night juice. But you've got Hollins on the outside. He has good size, good range. Somebody twitch? Arthur Smith not happy saying There's we're no not foul even lined on the up. Play, as I had not blown yeah. the play ready. There's no foul. The play had not been blown in. No. <laughs> he said no to Vrabel because Vrabel's yeah. on the other side <laughs> arguing. I tell you what, the officials who are at, right at the line of scrimmage get an earful from yep. coaches during the course of the game. Miles Garrett and Damian Lewis with some uh, exchanged comments in this first half. Maybe he was just asking about his Halloween costume. Middle of the field opens up. DK Metcalf finds that spot. And here's Metcalf again. It's picked off. Martin Emerson Jr. this time led it the whole way and just stepped in front for the interception. Pete Carroll is hot on the sideline. I'm not sure what Coach Carroll is upset about. That's really well played by Martin Emerson. There's got to be something else involved with the play where he's not happy about. Let's see if we can see it. And he got him on the jersey, not the hair. There are fouls against both teams on the play. Holding offense number 75. Personal foul, horse color tackle, defense number 41. Those penalties offset for replay first down. So they don't get the penalty for the horse collar because of the hold on the offense, and we replay the down on that quick hitting run by Gibbs up the middle. And there it is on Spillane. Yes. It was in on the tackle. Yeah, exactly. A source doll. Pickett. He's going to run it. Pickett. Gets out of bounds, first down. Chased by a Lewikin. And then some pushing and shoving at the end of the play. And Mason Cole going over to protect his quarterback that really didn't need protecting. That play happened on the sideline. It wasn't even a big hit. But Mason Cole letting you know how they feel about Kenny Pickett. I don't want anyone touching him in any shape or form. They get the first down. But now time is the issue. Pickett. Forced a clock and he tossed it ahead. Pickett is down. Jacksonville is running. Gotts has got Rolling Pickett. The field, a deflected pass, incomplete pass. And second down. Pickett's in trouble. Steelers got to the line quickly, just trying to get the play going. And Pickett. Please reset the game clock for 14 seconds. 14 seconds. Takes a shot here and got slammed down by Gotsis. 
See, and that's where the that's the question mark you would have about the slam at the end the of the player was the injured play. after the two minute warning. By rule, that team is charged a timeout. Pittsburgh will be charged their third and final timeout. Thirty second one, thirty second timeout. Remember, I was disputing the body weight call that was early in the game. The reason that you're not seeing a body weight call there is he's not on top of him. That's a shoulder to the side of him as he takes him into the turf. I know the fans are upset, and if I'm Pittsburgh, I'm upset too because my quarterback got hit, but he does not land full on him, so they're not getting that call. We'll call it 55 yards. Boswell leans into it. Boswell knocks it through. For now, the Steelers have points. Will they stand? Reaction to what the officials were seeing. We packed a lot into the final <laughs> 28 seconds of this first half. Plant foot fine after the cleat change, and he gets through it. Offside on the right guard of the offense, no. lining up over the football. Five-yard penalty. We play the down. Big emphasis when you're going for short yardage plays about offensive linemen not lining up in the neutral zone. Well, when you're kicking a field goal or a point after touchdown, it's like a short yardage play with everyone packed in tight. So it's very similar with the lineups. Third down and eight. Play clock at two. Cousins, Addison on the slant. Not enough for a first down. <laughs> yeah, I think Jair Alexander, well, he's had enough of that. He was like, I'm tired of this rookie. Second down and nine. Cousins to the outside. It's Osborne again. You saw Nixon lay the hit at the end of the play. Uh, KJ Osborne. 18 to 22 to the air. Pressured. Hit. Spin. Set. Josie Jewell. It's back at the 26. And they lose seven. With some words and pushes after the play and frustration from Donovan Smith, the left tackle. Okay. Rondale Moore gets the pitch. Moore has those quick feet, shows it off there, and then the power to finish the run. Forward progress stop. Moore picks up six. Now we got Tank Dell in there as well. Going off his back foot, passes batted in the air. And incomplete. And once again, it's Frankie Louvu disrupting things defensively for Carolina.